I hope you guys are ready for it because this Dollar Tree haul is all over the place. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. Tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share with you guys another Dollar Tree haul. Now, by the time that you guys see this, all this stuff will long be put away. Some of the food eaten, some of the drinks already drunk. Is that a word? Drank? Drunk? The drinks will be gone. Our school supplies will already be started and well into because I held out on posting this video. Now, originally I went to the Dollar Tree for homeschool supplies. Just like many other parents out there, I've chose to homeschool my kids this year and I have an oldest and his name is Jacob and he just turned 16. He is doing the virtual learning with our school district. I feel like it's catered really well towards what he's used to doing so he'll be perfectly fine with doing the virtual learning but my youngest maya is four she just turned four and mason is going to be seven in december and so at the pre-k and first grade level i just felt it safer for them to stay home and i think that i can do a pretty good job of schooling them at least I hope so. So, of course, I had to go over to the Dollar Tree and get all the supplies that I needed. Now, not everything came from the DT. I went to Target, I went to Ikea, so I'll link that video up above if you guys wanna check out everything that I got for my homeschool room as well as I have a full homeschool room tour. So I'll link all those videos for you guys down below in case you are interested. But I know my girl over at the Dickinson Homestead, she said she had to go to the Dollar Tree too and get supplies for her kids. So we decided to do a collab, but she wasn't gonna be able to post her video till today. So I held out on posting this video. All right, you guys, hold the phone just one second. So I know you're already in the middle of a super long-winded intro, and I've already edited the rest of this video, so I already know that if you didn't get a drink and a snack, you might wanna go and do that now. But part of the reason why I waited to post this video, like I mentioned, I had filmed this a long time ago, but the reason why I waited is because my girlfriend Shauna and I were collabing, and she needed to go out of town to visit with her mom, who was having surgery but her mom ended up having some complications from her surgery and had to go back into the hospital so right now Shauna is in the middle of being an incredible daughter and she has been there for the last couple of weeks and she is still continuing to be there to help her mom and will be for just a little while so she didn't have a video to put out for today so I kind of had to pop in here and just insert something really quick so you guys know why it might be a little choppy because I was trying to cut out everything that I had to say you guys certainly can still go over and show her some love I will link her channel in the description box just be a little bit patient with her because like I said she's not uploading right now because She's off being an amazing daughter, and I admire that tremendously. And if you guys know me, if I could do that for my mama, I would do it in a second. So just wanted to give you guys the heads up, but now I'm gonna roll you back into our incredibly long and large Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, my Dollar Tree haul is a bit all over the place. So I'm gonna share with you guys a bunch of stuff that I got. This is kind of some of the boring stuff, like the food finds and stuff that I found. And then I've already filmed a bunch of this Dollar Tree haul, but more in the perspective of a grocery haul, just because I needed to fill my homeschool room. I am coming very close to starting school. Um, tomorrow is the first day of school for us, and I also had to get everything together because I was filming that homeschool tour for you guys. So things have been a little crazy and all over the place. So like I said, so is my Dollar Tree haul, as is my life. So you guys are going to see a portion of the haul, and then I'm going to show you the rest of what I got, and then I'll we'll come back to me sitting here all right we've rambled on way too much just for an intro and it's time to show you what i actually got at the dollar tree so one of the things that i found that i was actually excited to find is a antibacterial spray and instead it's by spick and span and it kills bacteria and viruses i had switched over to a lot of the all natural like mrs myers and method products and things like that i'm a huge lover of grove collaborative i get all of my cleaning supplies sent to me i love that but once this pandemic hit i kind of learned how a lot of those things that i use are not as antibacterial as i 
thought that they were. So now, especially during this pandemic, whenever I see some kind of antibacterial something, I grab it so that I can use it after I go grocery shopping and things like that. I can just kind of clean the counter as well. It makes me feel better to know that I'm using something antibacterial. So I grabbed myself some a Spick and Span. And then Gatorades, you guys. My husband is literally going to be waiting outside of the door for me to finish filming this Dollar Tree haul so he can take some of his Gatorades. But we have been doing so many projects around the house. We're building the home furniture for the homeschool room and all this stuff and it is literally like 104 in the shade it is ridiculously hot here in texas and so we are big gatorade drinkers and i haven't been back to costco in forever i probably won't have even gone by the time that you guys see this so i am in desperate need of a trip to stock up on some drinks but i think these are a really good deal for a dollar not necessarily the big fat ones because they can go on sale for even 88 cents in walmart or in a regular grocery store but the ones with the sport cap get a little pricey especially like in a gas station or something these are like two and a quarter or 250 so i grabbed two red two green and two blue plus he can reuse these bottles with the cap so hubs is going to be super excited because the man's thirsty two purchases that have zero to do with food but they're just sitting here at the end of my table so i decide to share them with you guys but we have a family member paul that lives with us and i saw this and i actually had him in mind he came here and when he first got here he went out to walmart and bought a lot of his own you know shampoos and body washes and stuff for him to have in the bathroom and when he came home i said hey i have a whole closet filled with body wash and everything. Like, why would you go and buy some? I coupon for days. So he said that everything he saw in the cabinet was very feminine or sweet or flowery. Uh, some of the stuff he liked, but I didn't feel like there was too much manly stuff in there. A few things were Jake's axe stuff and he wasn't a real fan of that as well so then i saw this it's lever 2000 which i'm pretty sure is a name yeah it's a unilever so it's a name brand product and it's just original body wash but it smells a really fresh and clean i forgot what i said that it smelled like oh it smells like powdered iced tea mix that's so funny i said the same thing like, as soon as you smell it that's what you think of like if you squeeze the bottle and puff the air it smells like that really sweet lemony and it says original scent but if you were to get like Lipton iced tea powder and you would scoop it up and then just add water to make tea that's what it smells like so good and I think he's going to like it and for a buck I just figured I would pick it up and see if he liked it so I got that for him and then I found the cushion foundation, you guys. Everybody talks about this foundation. And I, again, I've couponed for days. I have tons of makeup and stuff, but everybody rants and raves about this foundation. And it's the first time that I've ever seen it in the store. So I was excited to, um, to scoop it up. So this says contains a natural coconut derivative, wet and wild mega cushion foundation with SPF 15. It's a liquid foundation in a cushion compact, luminous, lightweight, and buildable hydrating formula. And I got it in the honey beige, which I think might be a tad bit dark for me, but this was the lightest one that they had. So we're going to give it a shot. I don't know. Does it look, I think it's see, it's a little too dark for me, right? I don't know. We'll see. I don't go out in the sun because it's hot. So I don't get a tan like I used to up north. But I wanted to give it a try. So goodies for the pups and then goodies for me and Maya, I would say. Actually, this is for all the girls in the house. That's right. There we go. So I have two girl puppies and I make their own dog food and I put pumpkin in it. So when I see some kind of pumpkin at the Dollar Tree, especially since I believe this one is all natural, it might even be non-GMO, I scoop it up because I put it in their food. So you kind of can't beat that deal for a dollar. So I got the 100% pure pumpkin for them. And then I went and got some Zaps chips. Guilty, you guys. I know I'm not supposed to be buying these chips, but I haven't seen them in so long. And then I got them from Target and Maya is hooked. The girl is just after my own heart. And so I want to get a few more that she hadn't tried. Well, she didn't try this one. This is the Zaps Voodoo Heat 
but she loves anything spicy so i think she's going to completely dig that if you guys have not tried zaps chips go and find yourself a bag you I promise I'm not steering you wrong. And then this one is the Cajun Dill Gator Taters. So it's a pickled flavored potato chips. You guys, if you love you some pickles and then a good kettle cooked potato chip, this is the way to go. It is, it's the bomb.com, you guys, I promise. So go and get yourself some Zap Chips. I know my girls, all of us are gonna be happy. So I mentioned to you guys that all three of my kids are home for school this year and my oldest, my 16 year old, I swear the kid can eat me out of house and home. Like I'm sure you completely can understand if you have teenagers at home, but sometimes I just don't know where he puts it. I mean, the kids put on a couple of pounds we all have in quarantine. So I see where he puts it, but not for what the kid can consume. So he likes a lot of these kinds of things and I thought it would be good to grab them for him, especially with school it'll be easy for something for him to do for himself so this is one of those super meals and it's just a big giant chicken flavor soup he really likes that sometimes he'll just have that with like an English muffin or something and this he absolutely loves this is the cheddar broccoli sometimes I get him the noodles and sometimes I get him the rice just to swip it switch it up the last few times I got him the noodles so this time I got him the rice but it's the nor sides and it's something that Jacob can do like I said on his own and this year you guys he's taking culinary in his digital learning class and I'm really excited to see how they're gonna do culinary well digitally so cross your fingers that he doesn't burn my house down or anything but these will good be good practices when he's not you know doing that kind of stuff this is something else he loves he's already jacked one out of the bag i bought two of these he ate one already and i believe he ate one of those soup things as well i think he's already grabbed two things out of this bag i told you guys this Jeff has been sitting here for a while and I was contemplating when I was gonna film it. So everyone's antsy for what mom's got in the bag. But this is the same brand, uh, Nissan or Nissan as the soup, but this is the chow mein. It's teriyaki beef flavor and Jake loves all of these ones. So got that for him and then I also got animal crackers for the kiddos and these are just a chocolate kind. Do you guys remember chocolate? like animal crackers when we were a kid, we had the little ones, they were snaps. They were called chocolate snaps and they were round and they were in the little square box with the handle. They had the regular animal crackers and then the chocolate ones were in the box too, but a different you know, kind of box. And I think my kids are just gonna go crazy for these, just a few of them on their lunch tray. I bought like really authentic looking lunch trays for the kids to feel like it's real cafeteria style. I really wanted them to feel like this was a real school feel. I don't know, just made my little heart feel like that would make them happy. So anyways, got chocolate animal crackers for them for lunch and that is a intro into the rest of our homeschool stuff. So I'm gonna roll you down to some footage, you guys, I've already filmed that. I was rambling, it was midnight, but I, last night midnight and I was trying to just get everything done so I can get it put away so I have all of my homeschool stuff spread out on my living room table to share with you guys and then I'll meet you right back here I know you guys every once in a while you end up getting a portion of a haul that is in this view I apologize but there's so much crap on this table that it is probably easier to do it in this format anyways and hopefully I've actually got the chance to sit down and show you the rest of the stuff the right way but I really need to get this stuff off into the school room so I want to show it to you guys and then hopefully like I said I've had time to sit down and share with you guys the rest of the haul but I'm going to show you like the actual school supply portion of this and then I'm going to show you the crafty stuff and the prizes for the prize box anything that involves school I'm just going to put here here in this format so that I can go ahead and get that stuff put away uh, all right so let me start over here with the workbooks you guys Dollar Tree really has a wide variety of workbooks for all ages for your kids so if you're doing any kind of homeschool at home I highly recommend stopping over and grabbing any of these workbooks I mean you don't want this to make be your sole source of teaching but it's good for busy work or morning work just to kind of get their mind going and it's good for for reinforcement after you've already taught the lesson to let them use this to see if 
they caught on to what they've learned. So this is Maya's pile. I got her stuff that was more pre-K, kindergarten, obviously just more of your basis stuff. She knows a lot of the stuff. Again, it's more for reinforcement. So this is a Winnie the Pooh and it's shapes and sizes. I thought that was super cute. She would like that. She loves herself some Doc McStuffins and this is the Alphabet Learning Workbook. So I picked up that got let's practice basic concepts so it's colors and shapes understanding the opposites so i thought that was kind of key for her and doing letter and number recognition so that's important for her to know so i got her that same thing with the let's practice abcs you're learning your letters from a to z how to write them uppercase lowercase that is super important foundation to start with your beginning sounds that says pre-k and k level i think working alongside of mason she'll definitely be able to keep up in that kindergarten section of you know work and then this is frozen too which was awesome to find and it's an addition workbook this might be a little too much for her this might end up going to mason but i wanted to let her try first i think if she sees frozen she'll be upset if mason gets it so i wanted to at least give it to her and then this is counting to 20 writing numbers and writing number words so that's really good for maya again i think that that's perfect you know those were a dollar uh, and now here are the ones that I got for Mason. So this says reading comprehension. It is all the Dis Disney princesses, but he likes all that stuff too. He, as long as it's Disney, he's all about that life. So this is reading made fun with engaging activities and sharpening reading skills. So I got him that. Got him a first grade good grades brand spelling book and it's the themes and song. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then this is also Disney princesses, but it's time and money. Again, I don't really think he's gonna care and Maya will be watching and looking along. So she'll be able to catch on and it'll be engaging for her as well. So got that. The good grades brand again for first grade in the edition. And then the Good Grades brand in the first grade, and that's the phonics book. And then the Good Grades brand again, and this is the first grade subtraction. This is, I'm not sure what brand this is, but it says teacher tested and approved here at the bottom. And it's time, money, and math. And it says grades one through two. And then this says practice letter and sounds. And although this is probably more for Maya's age, Mason struggles a little bit. He had speech when he was in elementary school. Um, so obviously we won't be doing speech with a speech pathologist here at home. So I figured still going over letter and sounds would be pertinent for him. And he still needs to do better with his sight words. We were really working on those and then Corona hit. So he definitely had an impact of not knowing his sight words the way he should. So I got that one for him, even though, again, that one's kind of for younger kids. All right, I'm gonna come down here. So speaking of sight words, I found sight word bingo, and it's 42 pieces, and it says two games in one. So there's a spin and win, and a match and spin, and I thought that would be really fun. So I got that one, and then I also got one with colors and shapes. So this one's more Mason, but Maya can play along, and then this one's more Maya, and Mason can play along. So got those for them as something fun to do. And then these are gonna go in the prize box. I just had them with this stuff because it was books, but it's a Frozen 2 book and it's Fearless by Nature. So I know Maya's gonna like that. I'm gonna put that in the prize box. This is actually not a prize. This is for mom, but they had a lot of cookbooks, but none of them were just super engaging to me. They were a lot of these pamphlet kinds. I didn't see any that were a great value, but I love mocktails and cocktails. I am a bartender by nature and I loved the photography in here and how beautiful some of these cocktails looked and so I grabbed that for myself and speaking of school mom's probably going to need a cocktail so this probably belonged in this pile just where everything else is uh, and then this is a stickers and puzzles book it includes two uh, coloring pages and you peel the stickers and line them up number wise so I thought this was kind of educational also because it's still like a puzzle and it's dragons but I'm going to put this in that prize box for Mason so that he has this one she has the frozen book like they each have a book uh, all right I have talked so much about these craft 
chalkboard markers. Craft Decor is the brand. These things are some of the best chalkboard writing markers I've ever seen in my life that I don't even want to use chalk on my chalkboard in the classroom. I want to use these and I'll just keep buying them because I always see them there. Whenever I see them and I see the colors, I scoop them up. So I got a silver, I got a blue, I got a green and a purple. I have these colors already, but like I said, I wanted to stock up because I'm gonna be going through tons of chalk and I don't wanna use regular chalk because these things write like butter, okay? So if you see them, scoop them. I uh, got some dry erase markers and got each pack, each set of colors, one for each kid. So I got the primary colors that has the blue, the green, the red, and the black. So one for each kid of that. And then these are more of the pastel colors which has yellow orange purple and pink so each kid got a pack of those this worked out perfect i know it's kind of coming across as orangey on camera but this is a pink ruler and a blue ruler so two for one one for each kid in a color that works for them sold uh, same thing with the crafters square brush set they are acrylic handles but there was two big two medium two a little bit smaller and then just one guy in the middle i'll probably take that one so it's still fair and each kid will have three brushes so that works i only got to get one pack problem solved uh, i did get a kid each of their own of these little art palettes and there's six in there so each of them will have six to work with we'll reuse them but eventually they'll get yucky and you want to throw them out but it looks like a little egg carton and it's got six little spaces for you to put your paint in which is phenomenal oh i do have paint upstairs and i left that upstairs don't worry there's more coming you think you guys just got this mm -mm, not for me all right as far as the crayons are concerned i do not think it is good to buy crayola at the dollar tree i found 50 cent crayola 24 pack crayons at target so they try to sell you the 24 pack at the dollar tree don't do it but the specialty crayons now those are more expensive and those you won't find this time of year for 50 cents so i did pick up the kids each one of the ones that i found so i each got them a pack of the glitter ones the neon ones and the pearl ones so that'll be more crayons for them and my kids are super artsy and creative so they love all of this stuff and then i saw modeling clay my girlfriend jill who is a teacher on long island she said that it is really good to use clay to have them describe something to you so maybe instead of saying draw me a fish you hand them a couple of colors and say make me a fish and that allows them to use different skills to get the same point across and so i thought that was a really cute idea and when i saw these modeling clays 12 sticks in each and it's all of the colors i got one for each kid so i thought that was a really good deal tons of binders you guys i'm not sure yet what i'm going to use them for but each one of us got two so mason got the soccer one and then he got this like blue and green camo he loves green so i kind of stayed with that theme and then maya got the unicorn one of course and this really pretty pink like leopard one so i got her that and then I got this one with arrows on it. And then of course I got myself the unicorn. One thing of glue sticks, but there's eight in here. That's all we should need for now. I'll probably pick up different kinds of glue, but for now, this is what I found. This is what we'll start with, four for each kid. Got some googly eyes. Of course you need googly eyes. And then I got a hundred pieces of these craft sticks. We'll definitely be using those. And then how cool is this, you guys? So I picked up this inflatable globe. I was actually gonna buy a globe for the classroom, but it was a little too detailed and old looking and I didn't think it would be engaging for my children. But when I saw this, I thought it would be fun. And I remember doing a song when I was in school, like uh, 50 states and all in alphabetical order. And it was like a, you hummed it to a tune. And so I think that I wanted to play that song for them, get them to learn it. And then maybe we can play a game where we throw the globe and whoever catches it has to say, say a state or something like that. I don't know, I wanna be creative, but I thought this would be really fun to have in the classroom. So I got that along with some feathers so we can use that for a project. 
I don't know how well these are going to hold out, and I only found them in blue, but that's fine. They'll both be fine with whatever color, but it's just an apron, and again, it's from Crafters Square, so that'll be good so that they don't ruin their clothes. This is something fun for them to do, but it's by Crayola, and it's a stitch it kit, and it's felt things that they actually stitch together. So I got a felt cupcake for Maya and a felt pizza for Mason, so I thought that would be fun. And then I got some of these index dividers. Each one of us got a pack of them so that we can put those in our binders. And then I got the kids folders, and these are two packs, and they're the nice folders and they already have the holes for the trapper keeper oh my gosh I just said trapper keeper I totally just dated myself for the binder so this one is a dinosaurs Mason loves dinosaurs I'm not sure if it's the same one it looks like it may be but he's not going to care because he loves that and then believe it or not I got him a Mickey even though he's going to be seven he still loves him some and Mickey Mouse like I said it's all Disney in these kids world and speaking of Disney I got Maya this find your own voice and it has Ariel and then this one on the back has the three princesses and then I also got her a two pack of the one that has a fancy Nancy in it she loves herself some fancy Nancy and I think this is probably the same one also but again I think the kids are going to love that so I'm gonna go put all this stuff away that's our magnet from our school room I don't know why it's out here my kids keep getting into the stuff they already want into the stuff and school hasn't started yet and when school starts I'm not gonna be able to get them in there right all right let me put all this stuff away and then I'll reset set up for the next phase. All right, you guys, so here is the fun stuff, and this is the last of the stuff that I brought down here to show you like this. So once I'm done, I'll run upstairs and see if there's anything left. Otherwise, the stuff that's upstairs is non-school related, and like I said, you'll see that in a little bit. So this is pretty much like the crafty stuff that I picked up, and then the stuff for the kids for the treasure box, and I'm really glad that I separated it because I'm a few shy for Maya, believe it or not. It was actually easier for me to find things for Mason than Maya and usually it's the other way around please excuse my messy kids and their toys so I think that I'll just have to keep an eye out for some stuff for Maya but there's plenty to get started so I got each kid three Halloween based things because Halloween is one of my favorite holidays and the kids love it too and being that there probably won't be some giant Halloween hoopla I thought it would be fun to kind of do some crafts. So each kid got a little ceramic painting thing. So Maya got the pumpkin head and Mason got the Frankenstein. And then I got Maya the glitter, glittery stand-up pumpkin. I think she's gonna like that. And of course, Mason's into like Five Nights at Freddy and stuff. So I got him the little rest in peace tombstone with a spider up top. And then these are the painting sets that have the little easel in the back. So this has a moon, a bat, a cat, and a pumpkin. And then this one has Frankenstein, a witch, a skeleton, and a spider. So the kids will like these. And I always used to buy these for the kids, but they would be put in our rainy day bag and then we would never do them. It would be so far and few between when we, when we would have time to sit and do them. But now that it's gonna be part of our curriculum, I feel like I'm gonna have that time to to sit with my kids and actually do that kind of stuff. I even got something for mom. So they had a lot of these cute little wood cutouts and this one says wicked with the broom and the little moon and the witch's hat. So mom's gonna paint that one for herself. And then here's the rest of like the little crafty kits that I got. And this is more harvesty. So maybe we'll do one of these in September and then one in November since they both kind of fit for either month. But I got Maya the, no, I think this one was for Mason. Did I do this for Mason? I'm not even sure anymore. No, I think this one is for Maya. The red truck with the pumpkins in the back. I got that one for her. And then I also got her this little turkey. And that one came with markers, not paint. Oh, yeah, I got them three of them. And then this one came with pumpkins and a red truck. And these are sun catchers. So, again, all just fun stuff. This one was a little bit more complicated. It had sunflowers and like a scarecrow um, kind of sun catcher. I, like I said, a little bit more detailed. So that one for Mason, same thing with this scarecrow. He was a little bit more detailed. And this is the one that came with the markers. So I saved that one for him. And then since Maya got the pumpkin for Halloween, I gave Mason this pumpkin for the harvesty time that says, give thanks.
Now I did get some stuff from the wood shop. And again, I've gotten these before, but the kids end up getting into the bag. They'll tear open the stuff. It goes all over the yard and we just never take the time to sit down and do it. So I got these two for Maya. I got her a birdhouse. She loves her animals and bird watching and bugs and all that stuff. And so I got her that. And then I also got her the bird feeder. So I think she's gonna be excited and they're plain wood. So the kids and I will paint them. It says decorate your own and stuff. And so the kids and I will do that. And then for Mason, his is a little bit more complicated. So his is a sailboat, but I love that it actually comes with the stuff to make the sail and everything. And then this one is a fighter plane. So he'll be able to paint his when he's all done. And again, I thought that was just some fun, crafty stuff to get for them. And now here is just the stuff that I'm going to put inside of the treasure box. So if you guys missed that video, I'll make sure to link it up above my tour of the homeschool room and everything, because in it, I kind of showed my layout on how I'm doing the treasure box, just in case you want to use that as inspiration for yourself. So these are the things I got for Mason. Again, it's a little uneven. I need to go back, but they love their little grow people. They bring them in the tub and stuff. They just did the unicorn one that I got the last dollar hole and seriously they kept going back to check it they wanted it bigger and bigger mason's like what if we throw it in the ocean so i know my how much my kids love them so of course i got mason a dinosaur because he likes dinosaurs and then i got them some glow stuff because they really like that so i got him a glow sword and then this says a finger flying rocket and it's a glow thing i don't know if that kind of looked interesting I got him a little wall tumbler. Those are the guys that you throw against the wall and they climb down in a Power Ranger. So I thought those were cute. I saw a little Justice League thing and Mason loves Batman. So I saw this little Batman figure. So I picked that up. You guys know Mason and his Pokemon. So I got him one of the little Pokemon packs that the Dollar Tree has. I saw the little guy Mike from Monsters Inc. And Mason really likes him. So I got that. Then they had a whole pack of those little ninja wall climbers. So I got him those. And then they had a whole bunch of Toy Story 4 stuff. So I got him Buzz because that's his favorite. I wish they had Woody because I would have gotten that for Maya because Maya loves Woody. And then these are the little make it blocks. And this is to build a zombie, which I think Mason will absolutely love that. And then we can also build it together. And that'll just be more of that stuff that we do. You know, that's kind of fun and educational. So I got my each of the three little Frozen characters that I found because I think she's going to love these. I feel like I gave them to her, her maybe once before, but she's really just gotten into Frozen way more than she ever was before. And these are little like backpack clips and stuff. I thought maybe she can hang them by her spot at her desk. And so I got her the little Elsa one, which I thought was super cute. And then I got her the little Anna one. And then of course, I had to get her Olaf. And these are the original Frozen, not Frozen 2, but ever since Frozen 2, Maya's been extra obsessed. So got that, and then Maya loves the Minions. They just watched that the other night, and she thought that was super cute. So I got, ooh, I got this one for her, but if Mason wants it, because he really likes the Minions too, again, I have to go back and get some more stuff for Maya. So if I grab some extra things, then I'll shift that one over to his pile. Uh, Maya loves straws and I saw his little unicorn straws and I thought they were super super cute I know Maya's gonna like them so I'm gonna put those in her bin for her and then they have this little diamond lip gloss my little girl is all about her lip glosses and stuff so I got that for her and then again I got the kids some glow and grow haha uh -huh. and so for her I got the eight glow sticks and two connectors to make that cool little glow ball I think she's really gonna like that especially with the neon on pink and stuff and then I got her these once before and she loved them so these are the glow unicorn bracelets so I got her that and then look how cute this fairy is I thought this was so sweet and it glows in the dark and it grows so she's going to love that I know my girl and her grow stuff all right you guys so this is the last of what I found upstairs in the bags that need 
to go into the school room. So I did just pick up two notebooks for Mason. One, one subject spiral bound, and then one of these like iridescent composition books. I had a bunch of these in all of my extra school stuff that I had in storage that were girly for Maya, but I didn't have anything boyish for Mason. So this one says like nature, learn, adventure, map has a globe or the earth and a magnifying glass and binoculars. So I think he'll like that. And then, like I said, the ear is a decent composition. So those will be his two. I already have hers. And then I've been looking everywhere for level one reading books. And no matter where I go, I can only find two and three, even in Target. So everyone must have bought up the level one. The only one I found was the Ocean Life. So I picked that up and then I picked up these. There's 10 of them in there. I'll never need that many, but they're reading highlighters. And so you just put them over the words and it magnifies them a little bit and sh literally only shows you or highlights, so to say, the sentence that you're reading at that moment. So I thought that would be good for them. And then I did get some reward stickers just to put on their papers. Out of this world, brilliant, superstar, rock on, you rock, all that good stuff. And there's 180 of those in there. Here is the tickets for them to earn to get things out of the treasure box. Mason will collect green and Maya will collect pink. It actually is coming off right on camera, but that one's pink. I found two more things, one for each kid. They love these squeezy kind of squishy balls. And this is the spiky one that I got for Jake for his birthday and the kids wanted one too. So I picked up one for each of them for the prize box and then a paint, you guys. Gotta have paint in your classroom, right? And so I found and grabbed whatever I could find. So I found three of these big bottles in yellow, in a royal blue, and then a brown. And then I, what? That's Prang, Prong, Prang, I don't even know. That's the brand of the tall ones. And then the shorter brand is Washable Paint in Clean Colors. Is that the name of the brand? Oh no, Rich Art is the name of the brand. And so I got red, black, white. I got an orange, definitely gonna need that during harvest time. Two kinds of green, like a lime and an evergreen. I got a purple, and then I got this really pretty teal color. And then I got this color because it looks like flesh. And the kids will probably want to use that when they're painting anybody's like faces or something like that. But that is it, you guys. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go put all this stuff away in the schoolroom. And now back to me in the chair. See, you guys, I told you. I bought a heck of a lot of stuff and this Dollar Tree haul is all over the place. So I'm gonna dive in right now to some home decor. If you do not like home decor for the Dollar Tree, click off right now because these are the things that make me happy. I don't know why. Some of it is tacky Dollar Tree stuff and some of it I feel looks like Hobby Lobby, but I don't really care. For a buck, I throw it up and then if it doesn't make it the next year, it doesn't. But some of the stuff I just fell in love with. So I really loved this. This is one of the like chintzier side kind of ones, but I don't know, I love my red truck. Do you guys know I love the red truck? I love the red truck. I don't know what happens to me. I jumped on the red truck bandwagon and I never got off. And so this one says, hello fall, and it has the barn in the back and the red truck and it's in the field with all the pumpkins and the glitter is just light and it has a burlap top and it almost looks like a mason jar that it's hanging in. I'm sorry, you guys. I think this is so cute. And then there's this one, shut up. Dollar Tree right now like maybe that one was a tad bit Dollar Tree ish but this one looks Hobby Lobby to me so this is has like a little burlap kind of not burlap this is raffia tied in a bow and then they have that like galvanized metal in a leaf with the pumpkins and it says happy harvest and this is a little bit of glitter too but it is the back of the red truck how stinking cute is that I love it I love it I love it all right, I don't know what got me with this one. I, I don't know. 
I was feeling in the mood, I guess, when I was in the Dollar Tree and all the fall feels. And so this one is a bunch of different slats in the pumpkin shape. And up top, it's galvanized. You can almost see you guys. Hi. With the autumn written above it, and that's kind of in glitter. And then it has really pretty sunflowers down the side. And it says apple cider, hay rides, a pumpkin, and falling leaves, which is all my favorite things about this season. Fall is definitely my favorite time of year. I love the holidays. I love Christmas. Fall kicks off everything, kicks off the end of the year. So I kind of went a little crazy on the decor. Like how many spots can you even hang all this stuff? Like I probably have a bucket full anyways, but I don't even care. Look how pretty these are. These are totally new this year. There were some repeats from last year, but a lot of them were new. And there's three of these squares hung by the string and they're so pretty. And they say grateful, thankful, and blessed. And you can see that it has that really pretty like autumn leaf looking wreath autumn leaf wreath no it's more floral i don't know what i'm talking about that pretty circle of flowers around the words so cute i love this and then there's these you guys i love these little shadow boxes i don't know why i adore these but I got hooked on them from the Target dollar spot, not even Dollar Tree. And then Dollar Tree started carrying ones that look just like they came from Target. And instead of paying $3 and $5, I pay a dollar and it makes me happy. And so this one says, let our hearts be full of thanks and giving. How stinking cute is that? It almost looks like faux wood. And this is all kind of glitter, but it's not coming off on my hands. So I'm happy about that. Not that hairspray couldn't fix that anyways but still super cute and this one says be grateful and give thanks and it just has that really rustic look all around it but i just love it i can't help it i just i love all this stuff these you guys look how pretty that this is they're just so gorgeous and they had every letter possible I got the A for our last name, but it has a little burlap ribbon and the pretty little, like the cork of the, the stem of the pumpkins all twisty and stuff. I love that. And just look how pretty it looks, hand painted and everything. A dollar, you guys a dollar you guys look how sweet this little tea light holder is so it looks like a little house and i actually have a few of these that my girlfriend sent me we did a box swap here i think it was me kicking off of vlogmas two years ago my girlfriend and i did a box swap and she sent me we did target as our box swap theme and she sent me these white houses a little taller and not the shiny material more of the matte but you put a candle in them and they looked so beautiful lit up because i put ones inside that were more a votive style but they were the ones that are like censored so you can either use a remote or set it to go on for six hours and off for the 18 hours or whatever and they just look so pretty when they would come on at night and all the lights would go through the little house and look how cute this is so it says home sweet home on the side and the light comes out the top like a chimney and then all the little light cascades through what the windows would be how stinking cute is even for everyday decor this is so cute all right speaking of everyday decor I showed you guys this in my thumbnail because I'm blown away by it and I'm dying to open it. I'm going to tear it open because I've been dying to share this with you guys. You know how the, they have the section that's more than a dollar? Well, I saw this and I was pretty convinced that it was in the wrong spot and it must be from the $5 spot but it's not and I was really blown away by it. So let me show you what it looks like the box first it just says marquee love and it says it's a letter kit and it shows you on the back how these things are supposed to be lit so there's like an x and an o i got the little end sign to go in my room because my husband and i have one of these pictures hung up on the wall so this thing is battery operated and it comes with these really pretty like glass bulbs and then these fiber optic lights right here in the back and so you put the lights through the back of it and then you put the bulbs on this side and this whole thing 
lights up like a marquee with batteries. How adorable is this, you guys? Like, for one dollar. That's it, one dollar. I, I asked the lady, can you just check the price? And she said one dollar. And I was like, no, no, no. I want to make sure that it's not from there. Can you scan it? And she's like, no, 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 I, I, I know what you're asking and they're only one dollar. And I just, I don't know you guys, I think that that's amazing. Even if you just use this for an anniversary or something to set up your pretty table or if you're doing a bridal party or bridal shower or something like that, you know what I mean? And you just did this, put it at the table. I think if I did my wedding, I still would not care. This came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This would look so cute, lit up, like nestled amongst some flowers on where the bride and groom sit. Like, I don't know why, I just thought this was such high quality for a dollar. I love the material. It's super sturdy and it's a dollar. So speaking of things that I love that are for a dollar, I love their little galvanized words that they come out with for the holidays. It's by Crafters Square, which is that it is a Greenbrier product, but all the Crafters Square stuff has been absolutely amazing. And these are bendy, but I like that because I bend them and put them in a wreath or something. And these say haunted, spooky, and beware. I have them for Christmas, for Valentine's Day. I have everyday ones. And I even like that says welcome and stuff. And then I even have ones for Thanksgiving, but I did not have Halloween. So I scooped these up. I am almost ready for the holidays, you guys. And then I got some of these really pretty rocks. Well, it says they're decorative accent stones and they look like the really smooth brown river rock. Something you would see maybe in one of those waterfall kind of, you know, decoration pieces or something. But I got those bamboo sticks from Ikea and they're supposed to go in stone. And I used to have a whole bunch of vases or vases or however you say that with stone in there for them. But I guess when I moved, I got rid of them because I didn't have any bamboo in them. And I went looking for my rocks and I didn't have my rocks. So I put the river rocks, stones, really pretty ones on my list so that now I can put my bamboo away. They are, they're looking for their home. Last but not least, you guys, I have some outdoor signs. Our yard is really, really small at this rental and a lot of the things that I used to set up on my property when I owned my home in Carolina, I don't have the space for here. So I pretty much only have a space for like putting some signs in some bushes or right by my front door in like right where the patio starts is about all that I got. So for the buck, I'm gonna use them and then I'm literally going to throw them away when I'm done because the weather beats them up. But of course, I found the red truck and it says farm fresh pumpkins with the pumpkins in the back of the truck and it says 25 cents a pound with the little arrow. So I thought that would be cute for my front porch. And then this, I think I'm gonna put right next to my door. It's not super tall. It's not like those really, really tall ones, but it's still probably two feet and it says happy fall and it's a scarecrow and I just thought he was so cute so I'm just gonna stand him next to my door and then this is another one of the picks but I had to grab it because I had a football on it and we are huge with football in this house and I actually for a second thought that maybe they weren't gonna do the NFL this year and I was really disappointed I'm hoping that you know they learn from all these other sports that have started and that when they do start they do whatever they can to keep it from spreading throughout their team so fingers crossed because it'll be a sad sad fall without my football but this says a family friends and football which pretty much screams me and I'm just gonna stick this like I said right outside my door all right you guys so that's it for this time's Dollar Tree haul if you made it all the way to the end I applaud you. I always applaud you guys if you make it all the way to the end of a super long video, but I really do appreciate it. There was tons of stuff to show you. My mindset truly was homeschool, and then the rest of the stuff just kind of made it into my cart while I was shopping, but that's what happens when you go to the Dollar Tree like three or four times trying to prepare for a school year. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.